Uh, this morning I had a, uh, a phone call with our ambassador to Iraq, and the ambassador informed me of the progress that the Iraqis are making toward forming a unity government. I encourage the, the Iraqi leaders to continue to work hard to get this government up and running. The Iraqi people voted for democracy last December. About 75 percent of the eligible citizens went to the polls to vote. And now the Iraqi leaders are working together to, uh, to enact a government that reflects the will of the people. And so I'm encouraged by the progress. The ambassador was uh, encouraged by it. Uh, today, uh, as well, marks the third anniversary of the beginning of the liberation of Iraq. And it's a time to reflect. And this morning, I, I, my reflections were upon the sacrifices of the men and women who wear our uniform. Ours is an amazing nation where thousands have volunteered to serve our country. They volunteered to, uh, many volunteered after 9-11, knowing full well that their time in, in the military could put them in harm's way. So on this third anniversary, the beginning of the liberation of Iraq, I think all Americans uh, should offer, a, offer thanks to the men and women who wear the uniform and their families who support them. We are implementing a strategy that will lead to victory in Iraq. And a victory in Iraq will make this country more secure and will help lay the foundation of peace for generations to come. May God continue to bless our troops in harm's way. Thank you.